This is Trudy of Virtual Tarot, and I am here to perform your love reading for the month of January of 2017. And thank you for joining me. We'll be performing a four card tarot spread, as you well know. And so let's get moving with that. I did want to mention that I'm wearing a Poochie jacket from 1960. Look at that. And I'm in the kitchen, which I thought, why not? Because we're going to be cooking up some new stuff, a new format for 2017. I'll be working on, excuse the hair, on um, putting together these classes that we've been talking about. And that will happen in that uh, fabulous year of 2017, which is around the corner. I'm going to upload these our videos in a in a day or two and so you may see them before January but these pertain to January first card to come up Scorpio page of cups the page of cups very interesting uh, if you again are learning to read I'm trying to hold this up uh, with me the cup card would represent the emotional self, the heart, the part of you which brings uh, joy. It's about feeling. So this card would be a child, could be a child. It's a people card and it does speak to a young male or female teenager, um, Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. Now you're a Scorpio and so if you are a young viewer, this could represent you, or it could even represent the person who you're interested in dating. It can even represent infatuation. And that's interesting for Scorpio as well because um, this page brings messages and messages of love and also can bring great tidings because it can uh, point to uh, the birth of a baby. And so that might be coming up for some of our Scorpios. Now, if you have a child who has water in their chart or has some water in their chart, you may have someone around you, Scorpio, around the new year, the beginning of the year, who's a little bit overly emotional. And again, this can come out in a lot of ways uh, with within a young adult and so it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going off the reservation or they don't want to talk to you anymore it just means that they need to get through a difficult period because a child who has a lot of water in their chart will tend to t to hang on to uh, a feeling longer than another uh, child with other elements that are more pre prevalent within their charts. So again, check your natal chart and check the natal chart of your children because it's funny, they resonate together. It seems as if uh, family charts will always have uh, the main signs will uh, concur. You know, it may not be the sun in, let's say for instance, cancer as you are, but it might, or I'm sorry, Scorpio, what am I saying? Scorpio as you are, but it might be they have a Scorpio rising, you know, or a Scorpio um, in Mars or something like that. So it's, it's interesting how that kind of all works. Now, again, the new year may bring this uh, sort of, uh, for some of you who are looking again for relationship or even in relationship, this feeling that um, the relationship that you're in or um, newly in is immature and you're not sensing the gravity of it because you are a fixed water sign um, and you, you are very, uh, Scorpios are the investigators and so they, they don't take anything on face value. They need to know more. And so you might feel that uh, this offer of love that's coming to you or these sentimental words, you might feel suspect of them and wonder if there's any gravitas uh, behind what's being said to you. And so that could be a bit of a question for some of you as well. And now also, if you are looking for love, you may want to um, 
assess what level of love you're looking for. <laughs> and I'm hearing that as well from them because they're saying this is a page and um, the page is uh, usually very crush worthy. Um, and so the page may be looking for a certain level of love and that may be something that you want to communicate out if you're dating that you're not looking for uh, a deep relationship you're looking for uh, sort of a you know not a one-night stand but it can't even mean that um, you're just looking for the rush of love um, and and the beginnings of love you're not looking for a long-term relationship I guess is what I'm hearing from them and so also it can go the other way if you're dating you may find that the person you're with is not looking for a long-term relationship or not thinking in those terms and so that kind of colors the beginning of the month now if you're in a full-time committed relationship this just can simply mean that you're not feeling as if they're meeting you um, your expectation level and and that this deep uh, sort of outpouring that you're really looking for is being met with sort of a, a more immature uh, sort of mindset it's not you may even accept that mindset for now let's see what happens the next card to come up for you is strength and uh, that's in the challenge position. Again, Leo did get this card. Um, this was the card that came uh, right out of the box. And it's interesting. It is the card of Leo. Often Scorpio will get this card. But this is really uh, all about paying attention to those around you in a way that is calming and soothing uh, so that their needs can be met and so that they can more or less get out of your way and allow you to move on with the things that you would like to do. <laughs> That's kind of what this is all about. Now, it's major arcana stuff, and it, it's kind of, uh, it's good, it's in the challenge position. It is good, it's, it's you challenge yourself to, to play nice, play fair, and beyond that, um, you allow others to win, not at your own expense though. You allow others to believe that they are um, in charge when actually you're the one who's got complete and total control of the situation. And so that's a bit of a challenge for you, um, January, where you, if you're in relationship, and especially if you're with a Leo, because this is a card of Leo, um, the challenge is to control that Leo in your life um, so that they don't disrupt uh, the environment. And you do that really, um, again, by being the bigger person, the stronger person, the person who can see uh, the game plan from a higher perspective. The person who can admire and admonish at the same time. The person who's able to control their environment without blowing it up. And so, you know, we all have these gut feelings when we get into a situation, we just wanna let the other person have it. Well, this is you um, controlling that desire to just let them have it. Now, you may find that there has been a time where you did just let them have it and you may feel the urge to give into that again and so if you're feeling like you're overly demonstrative in the beginning of january um, just be aware that this card uh, can easily be turned around um, again you're going to deal with this leo or this roaring lion uh, with honey uh, with uh, hugs and understanding a lot better than getting into a brawl with them and so spirits warning you to hear um, it, it, there's no weakness in being able to control oneself that is uh, considered strength here and uh, if you can muster 
the ability, the capability to do that, um, you'll be greatly rewarded. The next card to come up is the Hanged Man. Now, that's an interesting card. This is a card of sacrifice, and this is coming up for Scorpio. And it's in the upright. It's a very good card. This is stepping away from everything that's happening in your life and maybe even standing on your head and going or going to yoga and doing a lot of downward dog, um, letting the blood rush pump to your head so that you can get a new, higher, uh, better perspective on what's happening. And so you might need to step away just a little bit uh, from the day to day. And that means that possibly for some of our Scorpios, you may need to um, step away from the neediness, I guess is what I'm hearing, of those who um, you want to help, you want to support, uh, you want to grab them and make everything all better, but um, you might have to step away and let them handle some things on their own. Again, this is a card of sacrifice. It's the card of the student. And the reason we call it the card of the student is that uh, this person is studying a situation, taking in facts, a new assessment, so that you're getting a clear perspective on what's going on. And this does require sacrifice. Uh, sometimes it, for some of you, it may even mean that you are going back to school and that that has caused a bit of a rift here. Um, someone's not as happy uh, with the idea as you are. School can mean a lot of things. There's a lot of online learning going on, uh, certifications. Uh, there's stuff at work that we need to learn day in, day out. If you're a stay-at-home uh, parent person, um, if you don't go out of the home to work, you may find that you have something that uh, you've been wanting to learn for a very long time and um, you're gonna take that time out. It's sacrifice, though, from other things that you could be doing, such as even watching TV uh, or going out with uh, this person, this person who wants all of your attention. So, what do we have in the end? Well, we have the Ten of Swords, better in the reverse. This is that last nail in the coffin. And so there could have been, uh, unfortunately, a situation that kind of nails you and you're not really too happy. Of course, we never really want to see this card. Again, it's better in the reverse. Um, you've had it. You've had all you can take and you're done. Now, this came out of nowhere, which is great. So that tells us that you sidestep whatever the situation is. There's going to be a, uh, sort of an amazing superhero, Scorpio ability to get out of the way um, as things unfold this month because you've stepped back and you're gonna let whatever it is uh, that's flying at you hit the wall beside you instead of you. So. Just know whatever's happening here, if you're in relationship and you've got a partner that's melting down, um, you can step to the side and allow them to melt down because maybe they need to and maybe it's time to and maybe they have things to attend to. Um, and so whatever, whatever that means, if they're not uh, there for you and if you feel as if they're being very immature uh, then it's okay to step away um, and let them deal with the issue. You, you're going to do everything that you can. I can see that. We've got the strength card. But sometimes um, you do all that you can and then you step to the side. Uh, you get away from it. You remove yourself. Now, if you're looking for a relationship, you're looking for love, again, I want to come back to the fact that um, this month, I can see that there is young love out there. It's, it's again, either young love or someone who would like to have a relationship but not um, a deep relationship. They want to have sort of a, a new surface level relationship. And so what does that mean? I mean, that means that you're trying to say all the right things, do all the right things, but unfortunately, 
uh, what happens is you end up like sort of flying out of your body <laughs> and observing the situation uh, from a bird's eye view because um, it's fe feeling kind of surreal to you, um, this person and the way they're acting. And at the very end, uh, you're able to, and this will be interesting, you guys comment and let me know how many of you experience this, but you're going to be able to sidestep um, like a train wreck. So whatever that is, for some of you, just know that this could come up and um, holding yourself uh, back is a, it's a pretty good thing. Um, again, as a Scorpio, you're going to be able to do that. Now, this can also speak to family. I could see that coming up a child where you're going to have to um, really learn everything you can uh, to help this child. Uh, and, and at the same time, not take things too personally because the... the this is a situation that uh, you have not caused, I guess, is the best way uh, to end this. But, but anyway, stepping back, airplane, 500 feet, 1,000 feet, 10,000 feet, um, up here, and making sure that you're keeping yourself uh, solid and uh, at the same time um, not uh, allowing, if you feel as if you want to blow, remove yourself. Um, close your mouth because it's not going to help in any way, shape, or form. And uh, it, the best thing you can do is to remove yourself. And you might have to sacrifice something in order to do that. Uh, you might have to sacrifice a vacation, uh, time spent with family. You might have to sacrifice something that you wanted to do uh, with them. And, uh, you know, but in the long run, it's for the best. So that's the Scorpio reading. And if you have uh, personal and private questions that you would like to address with your guides, please send me an email to uh, myvirtualtarot at gmail.com. You can purchase your reading at myvirtualtarot.com. I could see here it might be nice to, to do a, a life path reading, perhaps if this is for a child or a love reading. Um, if it's for a relationship, we also do natal charts. That's something that I could see coming up here as well. Um, if this is a child, if this child is um, acting out, you might want to know uh, about their complete chart. And that will give you a blueprint of kind of how to work with them. So, or even with uh, a potential love interest or spouse. So there you go. I hope you have a wonderful January. Thanks so much. Don't forget to watch your year long reading. And again, we'll be learning how to read this year. I'm still getting all the paperwork together because I want to share out uh, the homework assignments or the fun work assignments. And so you can really learn how to read these cards. We're going major arcana first. Keep checking back. Big love. Mwah. Bye, Cancer.